All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're hearing some really good things about new additions or more slept on cats like Darnell Washington and Arthur Smith's new system. Uh, Van Jefferson, George Pickens keep doing their thing. Apparently, Russell Wilson is back or we know russell wilson's back but apparently russell wilson and justin fields are still balling or more so justin's still balling and russ is now balling so uh things are looking really good for pittsburgh man i'm telling you this is one of the best defenses in the national football league you are one of the best defenses in the national football league and folks it's not even close and then i hear guys like beanie bishop and then i'm hearing nick herbig in his second year just everybody's being impressive and i get it it's just training camp and it's the first couple of days of august and you, know, you can look all across the league and see you know all 32 teams are going to win the super bowl but folks i'm telling you man pittsburgh is one of the best rosters in the league you have maybe the best defense but you have one of the best freaking rosters in the national football league so we're going to be talking about training camp um towards the later middle half of this video but i want to talk about some things arthur smith said particularly the last few days but before we do if you guys enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content steelers fans if we could try and get this video to 100 likes i would greatly appreciate it um the tight end room is really interesting and you know, I saw a headliner from an article on, shoot, I, I don't remember which art. It was from Jared Bailey. And the headliner was Steelers offensive coordinator Arthur Smith wants all the tight ends to be involved in the offense. So we're going to get into the camp notes in just a couple of minutes. But Darnell Washington's a guy who is impressing a lot of people. And Darnell's a dude who, you know, coming out of Georgia, which or I just said we, oh my God, um, the Steelers drafted darnell in the third round last year and he was a really interesting player because the guy's like a freaking massive tank but the or the steelers geez man we're a freaking mess tonight it's morning oh god um <laughs> the tight end room was a mess but the offense was a mess it was the fourth worst offense in the league it was the fifth worst passing offense in the league and so you know pat fryermuth was limited to only 12 games but darnell was a guy coming out of georgia who was playing behind brock bauer so he was more of the blocking tight end but he still put up about 500 receiving yards averaging like 17 16 and a half yards per catch in his final season at georgia and you know every steelers fan was so excited to have this freaking beast on their roster he played in 17 games he actually started in seven of them but he had seven catches for 61 yards and then going to pat fryermuth who yeah i get it he only played in 12 football games 32 catches 308 yards averaged only 9.6 yards per catch only two total touchdowns that's only 25 yards per game just as an example um two years ago when he caught 63 balls for 732 yards he averaged 46 yards per game so much like a half drop off this is why i need whoever the starting quarterback to be to get the tight ends more involved so this is part of the article from Jerry Bailey. We'll just get through this. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are weak into training camp. And one thing has been very noticeable in that time, the use of the tight ends. Pat Fryermuth has been moved all around the offense, playing both in the slot as a receiver and in his traditional tight end spot. Darnell Washington and Connor Hayward have also been getting consistent looks in the passing game. That seems to be by design as offense coordinator Arthur Smith wants his tight ends to be a big focal point of the offense. Here's a quote from Arthur. Well, all of them, when asked how much the tight ends he wants involved in the offense all of these guys they're finding out what their strengths are how they fit in the overall scheme but it's been fun so you know we keep talking about pittsburgh having no clear wide receiver number two but the thought process is you know path for our moves kind of going to be wide receiver number two and then you know fan jefferson's had a really good camp uh roman wilson has an ankle sprain he's week to week he's also in a boot which really sucks but um every mainstream article wants pittsburgh to go out there and trade for a wide receiver too and of course it's always brandon Ayuk. to me man brandon Ayuk is a top 10 receiver in the national football league um it kind of seems like San Francisco and him are nearing a deal, but it just appears, you know, it's August 2nd. I don't think Pittsburgh's going to be trading for Brandon Ayuk anytime soon, um, but I don't think they necessarily need to. So, you know, we saw Allen, who in freaking August is like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. We got a tweet here from Nick Faribault. Allen hits Darnell Washington for 15 yards in the red zone and gets down inside the five. He can be a legitimate red zone target when used. And this is just, you know, every Steelers fan, it's like, 
it's like Calvin Austin, right? It's like, all right, yeah, why aren't these? I, we know, we know Darnell and his massive freaking body and his massive freaking frame um, and his weight. I mean, the dude's like a freaking beast. We know he can be a good red zone target when used. So I'm glad to just hear that he's at least being used in training camp because uh, you're going to see a ton of two tight end sets. Arthur Smith runs it all the freaking time, or at least he did in his last three years over in Atlanta. So uh, moving forward, Justin Fields and Russell Wilson shine on day seven of the Steelers camp highlights biggest winners of the day. Russell Wilson had multiple throws of note of the day as well. He found Van Jefferson on a post who beat Joy Porter Jr. for the catch and Calvin Austin on a go route that was unfortunately dropped. I was talking about Justin Fields in my last Steelers video, and I was saying because I'm born and raised in the Chicagoland area. I've watched every Bears game for what feels like my entire life, even though I am a Packers fan. Uh, he's had 38 fumbles and 38 starts. And, you know, I think only 11 of those were lost. But my point just is, like, <laughs> I saw a tweet saying, like, oh, you, you hype up Justin Fields and you hype or you don't hype up Justin Fields. None of that made sense. But the point is, the Justin Fields discourse is just crazy there's not a soul on planet earth who loves football who is not rooting for justin fields and that includes myself but russell wilson was brought in to be the starting quarterback but what i do not necessarily worry about or what my concern would be is if you know pittsburgh starts off the year zero and two or you go on a two-game losing streak questions will be coming up if Justin Fields is not the starter on day one, I don't anticipate him to be. I think it's going to be Russell Wilson. If you go on a two-game losing streak, you lose the first two games of the season, or you start off 2-0 and and you go 2-3, and questions are going to be asked and um, you know decisions might have to be made. So I don't necessarily know if Russell Wilson is actually going to play all 17 games for the Pittsburgh Steelers this upcoming season. But what I do know is, if both Justin Fields and Russell Wilson are balling their asses off in training camp, well, what I will tell you is I feel pretty freaking good, all right? Yes, there might be some drama if a losing streak comes, uh, but at the end of the day, we won't know until it happens. So I will say Justin Fields is loved by everybody. That's fans, that's coaches, but that is especially players on the roster. They absolutely love this guy no matter where he goes. And the thing with Russ is that he's a little bit on the older side, can't really you know, bond with his younger, newer teammates. And so I'm not saying there's something here, but I'm saying it wouldn't surprise me if eventually there was. But my point is, that's a good thing because you have two competent, capable QBs on your roster. So that's all I have for today. Uh, we barely got into training camp notes, but that's all right because it was yesterday anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content along with many Steelers videos every single week. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you excited? Uh, give me a player. Maybe Darnell Washington, maybe a defensive guy like Bishop. Give me a player who's flying under the radar that you cannot wait to see in your first preseason game. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see.